that it didn't matter because the day that I pleaded no contest to Marion, there was a big write-up in the front page about the cops doing their movie anyway. So it didn't make a difference. I already, too late, I already said it. So and why do you think, <coughs> why, I mean, I know in a... I, because they convinced mm -hmm. me that the cops would not be able to do their movie have any access to this movie because they needed the trials to go through. But do you, why do you think Arlene and Steve would want you to plead guilty? Arlene and Steve have both suggested how I could kill myself. That's not very motherly, is it? <laughs> well, kill yourself while you're in, the, in this institution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they both suggested it. It's not very... Motherly nor very lawyerly is it? And even giving me some ideas. So that's pretty sick. Mm -hmm. I know they're they're not on my side, but it's too late now. All I need to do is slide through the rest of these stupid trials. Pasco Dixon, Dixie, find me a real good detective and a real good investigative reporter to go out and figure out what's going on uh, with. M find out that I'm telling the truth and they're lying and find the evidence and once you've got evidence I can get a new trial and I need to go to a new trial through the Supreme Court. And what about before all this happened? Did you... You mean before the crimes themselves? Yeah. I was doing fine until Tyra told me start going to see strangers and make more money. That's how I wound up in this situation. But hadn't because you been... But you'd been working as a prostitute for a while before then, hadn't you? I was doing real good monetarily, yeah. I was making hand over fist of money. I was doing real good. The only thing, the only problem that happened is when Saudi Arabia came in, all my clients started going to Desert Storm and going to the bases and training and getting ready to go overseas and do that deal in Kuwait. And so I lost a lot of my regulars, and Tyra told me, well, why don't you go out there and do your strangers again, like you did from the beginning when I started hooking. And I thought, you know, I can deal with my, my regulars I have now, but I only make about 100, 150 a week. Did Tyra you feel that Tyra was into it for But Tyra for money wanted me to well. bring in 700 or 1,000 a week. What? Did you feel Tyra was into it for money as well? Well, now I look at it, yes, definitely. She was, she, was, she was using me monetarily. So was my first lover before Tyra. I bought her a pressure cleaning business and everything, and she took off two months after I bought it for her. And now Steve and Arlene as well. Everybody. Why they do you just, think? They must be the economy, man. Why do you People think? Just, Everybody seems like they just care about the money. They don't care about me. Eileen Warren has killed seven people. She deserves to die. Who gives a darn? Let's make some money and forget about her. But that's not the point. It's a, I say it's this. The principle is self-defense. They say it's the number. I say it's the principle. The heck with what... It, it, it has nothing to do with the number killed. It's the principle. But they're saying... If there is a number, no. Self-defense is self-defense no matter how many times it is. I don't care if it's a hundred times. I was very, I never provoked those guys. I never provoked them. I never showed any provocations whatsoever. It was very nice, very decent, very clean, very ladylike. I didn't even swear in front of my clients. And a lot of my clients, I talked about Jesus and I talked political, both mixed together and we never argued. So there was no provocation whatsoever. There was no need for them to look for the closest weapon in the vehicle and try to use it on me to rape me. Two did, five tried. How, how Are you guys long? ready for me? Do you, do you want three minutes? You want to? Two or three more minutes. Two or three more minutes. Okay. Don't want to break any more rules for <laughs> me. So what are you guys going to do? Are you going to uh, try to investigate some of this? Yeah, chest? we will. If you guys can look for the Republican pictures contract. I just go for it, the to figure out that I can't dispute on. You've got it right there. If you can find it, that will set me a new trial for the Supreme Court. Wow. The Republic pictures. Yeah, Republican pictures. That's where they're working at. Overkill movie. If you can find the contract, they're they're dead meat. <laughs> you're saying you're saying that they wanted the to police officers the appointed contract. an attorney to negotiate with the various movie companies no, after Lee was arrested. Was arrested the same attorney 
also represented the interests of Tyria Moore in these discussions. I mean, made up in their mind. She's a serial killer. We're going to, even if she's innocent, I, we don't care. We're going to make the public believe she's a serial killer. But anyway, that's what <laughs> said that you're going to, two things you're going to have to do. You're going to have to get the public to believe that she's a serial killer, and you're going to have to get her convicted in order to get this movie to go. We're going to be in Ocala over the next couple of days. And we're trying to ask the police their involvement in it. Good. And then we'll come back and see you again on Tuesday. Great, because see, um, uh, uh, We tried to contact the police officers Lee mentioned, but they declined comment. Thank Upstate you. Attorney's report concluded there had been no exchange of contracts or money between the police and Republic Pictures. Thank you. Man. Okay. Thank you. Take care of yourself. I hope to see you soon. When we returned for our Tuesday meeting with Lee Warnos, the prison informed us we were no longer welcome. They cited our previous security violation. Maybe I'll look better next time. I'm getting my commissary today, some mascara and a brush. Shortly after we left, it was discovered that Richard Mallory, Lee Warnos's first victim, had spent 10 years in an institution for attempted rape. Should there be an appeal, Steve Glazer will not be in charge of the case.